Welcome to The Behaving Brain, the channel where we explore the brain and its impact on who we are. Today we look into a story that significantly influenced neuroscience. It's a story of challenges and important discoveries. Stay with us as we explore the life of a man known as Tan, and how his language difficulties helped us understand the brain better. The air was filled with the scent of disinfectant. It was 1861, and the halls of Bicetra Hospital in Paris were busy with orderlies and patients. Among them was a man known simply as Tan. His real name is unknown, and he couldn't speak due to a mysterious ailment. Tan's situation was unique. He was intelligent, but he couldn't speak properly. He could understand language, but he could only say one syllable, Tan. This repeated word became his name, highlighting his inability to form other words. Imagine having thoughts but being unable to express them. Every attempt to communicate ended with the same syllable, like a broken record. Tan's case, though rare, would soon become important in the study of neuroscience. Tan wasn't just mute. He had a specific type of speech impairment that was more than just losing his voice. His vocabulary was reduced to a single syllable, but he could still understand well. He could follow complex instructions and respond to questions using gestures or facial expressions. This difference between understanding and speaking puzzled doctors. They couldn't figure out why he had this specific language problem. Some thought it was a mental illness, while others believed it was due to brain damage. Tan's condition suggested that language might involve specific areas of the brain. His case gave scientists a chance to study the biological basis of language, an area that was not well understood. In medical history, chance encounters often lead to important discoveries. This was the case when Tan came under the care of Pierre-Paul Broca, a young French surgeon interested in the brain. Broca, known for his careful observations, was intrigued by Tan's condition. Broca documented Tan's symptoms, noting his intelligence and his ability to understand language despite his speech impairment. He engaged Tan in conversations, testing his understanding of grammar and vocabulary, and recorded his responses. For years, Broca observed Tan's condition as it worsened. Tan's frustration grew as he struggled to communicate. When Tan passed away, Broca saw an opportunity to study his brain. The autopsy, conducted by Broca, revealed a lesion in the left frontal lobe of Tan's brain. Broca suggested that this damaged area was responsible for speech production, now known as Broca's area. Broca's findings were significant in the scientific community. His observations and conclusions provided evidence for the localization of function within the brain. Tan's condition helped reveal important aspects of the human mind. Broca's discovery was a key moment in understanding language in the brain. It contributed to the field of neurology, encouraging scientists to study the brain and its connection to human behavior. The story of patient Tan reminds us of the vulnerability of the human brain. It shows the significant impact that neurological disorders can have on our lives. Tan's difficulty in communicating and his frustration highlight the importance of language in connecting with the world. Broca's work to understand Tan's condition shows the value of empathy and compassion in scientific research. By seeing the person behind the symptoms, Broca made a discovery that went beyond his Parisian hospital, opening new paths for exploring the human mind. Don't forget to check out our previous video on The Behaving Brain, like and subscribe to our channel for more content.